Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from JazzleDazzleCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I work in Scotland. Now, I was just relaxing um, a Sunday afternoon while I'm filming just now. Um, I was just relaxing and pluttering about with some bits and pieces. I don't know about you, um, but when I'm die cutting or fussy cutting and I've got spare bits, I've got a wee tray of leftover bits and pieces that I've cut out and... I was just trying to think of ways to use them because sometimes even just looking through this little tab it inspires me about reminds me of stamp sets I've got and inspires me with wee ideas. So I was making this little concertina booklet and at the moment I've got out Butterfly Gala and Climbing Roses because I've been filming um, films with a purpose um, to, to show you cards that I've been doing but I thought um, this is actually a really good idea just to make one of these little concertina booklets just to save ideas and inspiration techniques you could do it in all sorts of ways I'm just thinking I was just thinking do you know there's lots of little insect die cuts and stamps and things amongst all my stamping up stamp sets so I've I've used the free butterfly paper what's it called I'll, I keep forgetting what it's called but do you know the one that's in the celebration brochure just now the, the pack I showed you in our previous video um, and, and it's got free butterflies it's just brilliant um, and I discovered that if you've got it you may have noticed I'm always sort of last to the party but wait until I get this piece of paper I discovered that the piece that's got like the green pattern on one side and the black and white butterflies, these butterflies fit the punch. I, and a wee trick if I can find it is if you take a post-it note so that you're not wasting it because we've got this extra bit here, if you take a bit of post-it note, stick it on the back, you've got something to hold your bit of paper with. So then I can just pop that in the punch and line it up. So it was just a wee thing that I just discovered, noticed today. I'm probably, probably every other demonstrator in the country or crafter in the country already knows that. But I just realised that that butterfly is exactly the same size as my punch so I don't even need to stamp it and so I did that one there and I coloured it in but what I thought today was I'd show you how to basically construct the wee booklet and then I have um, cut some other bits of whisper white that I will then stamp on or whatever and glue into my little my little wee book and I'll just have a wee mine is going to be a wee insect book I think I'm not sure but and then, and then I dis discovered I had this trellis cut out from the the rose trellis dies because quite often when I get some new toys I just play and cut out bits and pieces and then I decide what I'm making. I've discovered that that's the same width as I've made my wee booklet so I'm maybe going to put that on the cover of one of the wee booklets. So I'm going to pop this one aside and I'm going to show you how I constructed it. But of course I've not actually put everything ready. So this time I've got a scrap piece from a piece of a uh, Bami blue card. So I'm just going to use that and pop that butterfly in my dish. So as I say, it's a good idea just to keep a wee dish and keep bits and pieces that you end up not using on a card or, you know, just leftovers when you cut a few. And these are all sets that are current at the moment. So... They are something you you know if you have them you can use them right so i'm going to pop the punch out the way for the moment um that bit of card there tidy up tidy up a little bit so we've got room to move um right so i need my trimmer now this is a bit unusual because i normally give you measurements in centimeters but today I'm giving you measurements in inches. And the reason for that is I'm going to be using my scoreboard. And my scoreboard 
is all in inches. So when I'm going to be using a scoreboard in a project, I use it as inches. Now, I know you can buy a, a board, an insert for centimetres, which I will do. I just haven't got around to it yet. Too many exciting things in the book. But anyway, first of all, I am cutting this at three inches because that is the height of my little booklet. All right, so that's it. We need that piece at three inches. And then I'm going to take my scoreboard. Of course, I didn't write the measurements down when I did the other one, so you're going to have to put up with a bit of me thinking and trying to remember. So, just going to score this at two, four, six, eight, and ten. Now, I'm not worried about the fact that this last bit isn't isn't doesn't come to twelve inches because that that was the back page there, and that's it's okay because it's covered by what I'm sticking in anyway, so it's not an issue at all. Okay, so it'll be quite, become quite sturdy because I'm going to pop. So Julie, you know there I've got one, two, three, four, five, six little pages there. A back and a front cover. And then on the back, I've got four little pages to decorate as well. So it's grand. It's just, I love it. So, that's that. I need my... Does anybody know where my bone polar is? There we go. Here we are. So it doesn't matter which direction right at the moment. I just want to burnish all my folds. So just it was just the full sheet of A4 card. That's if you a UK size or European size of A4. I know in the USA your measurements are slightly different, but um, I'm sure you can work it out. doesn't this are just measurements are fairly random for me but what I wanted it needed to have six panels so that worked for me so um that one has to go that way that way that way that way all right so you've got valley so you get three valleys if it's the other way up there's only two valleys so that way up is three valleys that goes in the back this is the front and then I need to make covers so what I did and I've heard people asking what to do with is the card that came the, the back that backs the paper packs people were asking if you keep who keeps them who throws them away well I keep them and I use them for things like this because I want the covers to be slightly sturdier. I don't want them to be hugely thick, but slightly sturdier than the pages. I am going to cover them with designer series paper, however. So, I'm going to make them all a quarter of an inch bigger. So, I'm going to cut this to three and a quarter. Cut me a strip. And then I just need two pieces. So I need one that's two two pieces at and I'm gonna cut two and a quarter and two and a quarter. So that's that. And then I'm going to change my bind because that's incorrect. So I wanted to I should have cut this at three. It's the paper that goes round. <laughs> It goes a quarter of an inch bigger. Uh oh. In fact, maybe it goes half an inch bigger. Right, okay, we'll go back. So, Janice, did you make that? No, I did make it slightly bigger. Oh my goodness. It was an eighth bigger. What do you think? 
Now I'm going to do it the same size. Oh, what a dither. Right. It, it, it looks a bit wider because once it's covered in the designer series paper because I pop it round. Right. So three by two inches. Just ignore me. The same size as the panels. And then cut the designer series paper half an inch bigger. I get there. I get there. Okay. So that's that. Now I've got to decide which designer series paper I'm going to use this time on the outside. So let's have a look. On oh, that one I used this. But that one. I'm going to use a different one this time. I might use this one on the front actually. What else have we got? Oh, I like that gingham button. Mm. I'm going to use a little bit of this on the back, I think. Can I make up my mind? How long have you got? Well, I do there. Okay. So, oh, look at these beautiful butterflies on the back. That is just screaming to be coloured in, don't you think? So this time it's I want directional, so it's going to go to so I'm going to do it to two and three quarters because I did it at two and a quarter and I don't think it was really but right, I'm just going to go for two and a half half an inch all round and that folds in and then that'll be fab right I'll need one piece of this don't I and then three and a half. Let's just go for a half. can always trim it down again. I did it. I should have written it all down, but hey, you get used to me. I don't get used to myself, mind you. And then this one, I need it to be its directional, that isn't it? Right. So, again. Cut it at three and a half and two and a half, so it's the two and a half has to go that direction. It's kind, it's not quite directional, but it's. I think I want it that way anyway. That's two and a half, so I want this one. Three and a half. Okay. Uh, what colour of ribbon will we put on this one? Will we put. I'm using the um, this gorgeous pre ribbon from Celebration. Uh, I think I'll go for the yellow, the daffodil yellow. Um, that one. I can get so it's all unraveling in my bag, so it's a good get that one out and tidy that up. That's going to be, and I'm going to have a full. I'm going to take a full 40 centimetres off that and then tidy it up. I'm really kind of getting in a mess here, so I'm going to have to stop filming after this one and tidy up. But I do, I was just crafting for myself and then I thought I'd share it with you. So I'm quite kind that way, really. Right, okay, so that's a piece of ribbon I'm going to need. That's the covers, and this is the bit of the book. Are you with me so far? <laughs> oh, logic's just flying out the window here. Right, so I do like that. So what I'm going to do is put wet glue on here. Can you see I, I'm conscious that um, maybe just keep going out of shot because I keep forgetting to check the camera and check that you can see me. I'm just going to check. Yeah, I'm sitting down lower so I can't always see what's happening. So I've put some wet glue on the back of this little piece of the card that I cut out. Now the piece of card was the same size as the panels in my book and this was half an inch bigger all round and yet half an inch bigger was the right thing to go for. So once I've stuck it down there, I take my snips. I don't know how many. Okay, there they are. These snips, and I'm just going to go 
and cut at an angle straight across just next to where the card hits. It's just so that it won't be too bulky, it should miter. Um, I'm just going to leave that one to dry uh, and stick this one down. Just to, just to let you see the process here. Oh, these papers are divine. I think I'm going to have to spend more money because I need another pack of this. Don't you think? It's just so beautiful. There we go. It doesn't matter if it's not accurately in the middle. Leave that one to dry and take this one because it will be a bit drier. And I'm just taking the thinner end of the ball tool that goes with my scoreboard. But you, if you don't have a scoreboard and you've managed to, you could do this with your um, trimmer, the scoring part of the trimmer. So um, if you've got any other ball tool or similar. You can do it like that. You can do it just by folding it over with your fingers. But I find it's just a bit easier if we break it down and then but gently just fold it over to you and use your bone folder. Then you've got a nice sharp crease there. Do that all the way around. Sometimes it works if you just do that. And then... That works better actually because you've already scored it, it, fo it folds easily. And then that way. And then we'll do, now that we've got the folds just how we want them, we'll just pop some wet glue. Our Tombow is so strong once it's dry. Just pop some in there. Oops. And then just fold it back over. And I find the bone folder is quite... Because then you don't get your fingers all gummed up. I don't know where my silicone mat is. It would be quite handy for this job as well. Fold it over. Just hold it till it sticks. Just takes a second or two. There's that panel. Not sure if I'm using this on the front or the back yet. I actually did notice that the trellis from the rose trellis stamp set is about the same width. So, and just see if you. I'm just going to play here. Just take my. Snips and go in and just. Follow the line and just keep that circle going there. Let's see, I've taken that off and then that is slightly bigger, but I think that'll stick on there quite nicely. Do you think I should do that once it's. Yeah, I'll do it once it's all together. I'm going to make that on the front. Right, now I need to this bit. Just firmly with your and then using the pad whoops Just go around each fold and do it as you go or once you've done them all, whatever way works. So, and then just open them up slightly and pop some glue in. I 
guys, it's not quick, quick and easy. This is just for my own amusement, really. But kind of thought that some of you... You could make it into a wee, just a small brag book or a wee memory book. Do you know, like for the children, you could put little photos and things in. Of things, I'm a granny, so do you know sometimes I spend time with the children and they quite like to go home with me photos of what they've done while they've been with me. As if I remember to take them, sometimes you're so busy <laughs> doing stuff with them. Anyone else a granny? And like spending time doing crafty things or getting outside with your grandchildren and just having fun right so two covers I think this one will be the front and that one will be the back so I'm going to the front it's going to attach on here see so I need glue all over this front page but remind me to put ribbon on the back page before I glue it down. Okay, so I'm just getting glue on here. And then... I think I'll put it that way. I don't think it's going to matter because I'm going to actually pop the trellis over the top. So I'm just wanting to make sure that the book is still going to open and close. But that's slightly... Just make sure that that's kind of lined up and that the blue is not hanging over. I love this Bami blue. It's gorgeous. Used Marina Mist used to be my favourite colour but since the colour change... Um, become quite fond of Bami Blue. It does replace it pretty well in my head anyway. So that's my front cover. For my back cover I want to put my ribbon so that I can tie it closed otherwise it'll be a jumping concertina all the time. So just using a bit of snail to hold it in place roughly in the middle. I'm just eyeballing it, it may not be accurate. And again, just roughly the middle of the ribbon. And to just pop it there. And then, I need to do is get that's going to go there, so I need my glue on this bit. So, I do find that the wet glue is the strongest. You could use tear and tape, etc. But if you don't want it to come apart in use, your Tombow is your best bet. In my humble opinion, that is, everyone has their own. Right now I need to think about this because I kind of feel that I want the majority of my butterflies up the correct way. So it's going to go there. I'm just sort of doing it oops, that way so that I can then line it up. I just want to make sure that my back and my front are pretty well lined up as well. And you see that's how it will close, like that. What do you think? Could you enjoy having a book like that? That's not right though, is it? That is not right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's just that I've put the other oh, butterflies are, are in a different direction. But anyway, that's okay. I'm okay with that. It's fine. Butterflies can go up and down. It doesn't matter. All right. So then once you've decorated one of the panels, now the panels are an eighth of an inch smaller all the way around than the panels in the book. Um, decorate a panel and glue it in and then you can fill up your book. So now I've got two books to fill. Mm. We'll just we'll stick this same um, trellis on now. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I wonder. We trick that sometimes I use when I when I'm doing something that's sticky. It's just put a bit of glue on the back of my hand. I'm going to go and 
clean up afterwards anyway. Right, messy, messy, yeah. But it is that sometimes it's just, and then just gently dab that. Maybe put too much. Definitely going to have to go and wash my hands now. So I'm going to put the trellis on here over the green and then possibly I'm going to add a nice butterfly or two, one or two when I'm being punching I'll punch out a few. I'm going to leave that to dry. That'll get some roses on it, that trellis and I think a wee butterfly or two. What do you think? Boing! <laughs> Boy, I don't, can't tie that close to dry because um, and I'm now covered in glue. Hey, so that's that's that. So what I'll do is I'll finish this off and I'll add on a wee clip onto the video just to let you see how the book's finished up. At least one of them. I won't finish them both probably, but I'll finish off one and let you see. Um, yep, that I'll have to stop just now. Hi then I'm back with the final bit of this film. Actually I've already filmed this final bit but um, my battery ran out so I don't know at what point it stopped. So anyway here, here we'll just show you again. It was just to show you the book. So this is the one that I constructed earlier on in this film. I haven't done any more decoration to it. I'm just reminding you of what I did basically there. Made a back and front cover. I've got these four pages and those six pages to sort to decorate okay so that just ties back up like that I'll just put that to the side just now um this one i just put some bits of inspiration in for myself and i've just decorated with bits and pieces that lying about and stamp sets that were close to hand just as i say some die cuts that i kept in that little box i've pulled out and um I've just decorated it like this. Found some wee words in some of my stamp sets that I thought were appropriate. And then a couple of inspiring quotes from my stamp sets in the back. And I've added in lots of bits and pieces from different stamp set sets that I've got. But I'm sure you've got plenty of bits and pieces and you could make your own. I am thinking that I am going to send a couple out to some friends that are overseas and I'll put some photographs and bits and pieces um, in theirs. But thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe by using the button below and also could you push the bell icon so that you'll get notified when I'm um, when I've got another video. Absolutely this year I want to get to a thousand subscribers. I had hoped that last year but Sometimes I just didn't get um, filming as often as I would have liked to. So thank you for your support and please share my videos with anyone else that you think might be interested. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye bye. See you next time.